So, hey guys, this came to whatever. I'm Kirsten, and today is another travel diary story time kind of video. And today we are going to be talking about a trip that happened in July 27th of 2018 to July 29th of 2018. It was a three day weekend trip. Um, and this was a trip for Chris's birthday gift um, that year. So uh, the last Travel Diaries video that you saw was his birthday trip. Um, but I did give him a gift um, that required us to take another little trip. Um, and this time it was to go see the Blue Angels air show because Chris had never been to a air show. And the closest one that we could find was in North Dakota that we've never been to. So that's kind of where we decided to go. So we are going to Fargo, North Dakota. And this is So this is day one of our three day adventure. So come back tomorrow for day two. Um, but let's just start it off. So Chris had to get up to go to work. It was a Friday. Um, and then I got up and took a shower. We had lunch. Chris and I finished up packing. Um, and he went back to work to finish out his day because we were gonna leave shortly after he uh, got off work. Um, and I drove the dog, so at the time, I, we had Moose and Panda. And at the time, uh, we were driving them to Hastings to stay with Chris's parents to watch them for us. Um, I ended up taking them to Palace of Paws to get them bathed and nails trimmed kind of thing. Um, just to pamper them a little bit and spend some time with them. And then I drove them to Chris's parents' house, like I said. Um, I talked to his mom about like how much food and what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do because it's constantly changing due to how big they are, how old they are, and that kind of stuff. So we would give them their rules basically just to kind of follow, just so they're still used to the rules and not changing anything much. Um, and at this time, Moose was only three months old, so this is like the first time leaving him um, by himself, or, you know, leaving him, and it was like, the hardest thing I think I've ever had to do. Um, as I was leaving, he, uh, you could just hear him crying. He was just yelping and screaming. It was like a terrible thing, and I was kind of feeling bad and heartbroken, because I really feel like he was going to really be mad or miss me really bad or not do so well, stop eating. I was just kind of really worried about that kind of stuff because um, he was really, really young. So after I had left, um, I ended up driving back home and waited for Chris to get off work. Um, and then Chris got off work and we loaded up our vehicle. Um, we went to the gas station down the street to get ice and drinks to get onto the road. Um, and Chris kind of came out with drinks, but kind of completely forgot about the ice. So he had to go back in and get ice. Um, we got onto the road and was just driving. And when we got to Randolph, Nebraska, um, I... rain um, and it was raining pretty heavily uh, so I ended up looking at 
Alright, I didn't really think anything of it and it kept getting heavier and heavier and heavier rain. So I ended up looking up the weather app and realized that there was a storm just south of us and that it was pretty much coming our way. Um, and so basically, in, it was in a severe thunderstorm warning and we're sitting on the road, or we're driving on the road and it was just not a good situation. It kind of really freaked me out a little bit. Storms in general freak me out if I'm in a house, but like we're on the road in the middle of nowhere. Like where are we gonna go? That's just weird. So um, of course we were trying to race the storm basically and get out of the storm as fast as we possibly could, um, which we ended up, did end up getting out of the storm. Um, barely, it was just crazy. Um, and by 1.30 in the morning, uh, we did make it to Fargo, North Dakota, and we did make it to our hotel room, and we checked in and got to our room, and we just passed out. Um, the first day was very boring, and I honestly don't know if I have a whole lot to this day, because it was just a lot of at home and travel, um, so it was very boring, boring day. So, um... I don't know. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below what you did um, in a severe thunderstorm um, while you're in a car. What would you do? Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the notifications so you're notified when we post every single Friday. This is Kim, so whatever, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.